Hey everybody, this is Wolfen Out, and welcome to Sang Freud Tales of Werewolves Tomb One. Yes, here we are with this game. It's been out for a couple years, and I've briefly played it a while ago, but not for some time. And I'm done with Windward now. Uh, that you know, that was just a f few parts we were doing, and we were having fun with it, Red and I, but. Kind of down with that. It's a lot. It's, it's just sort of we're doing the same thing over and over again. We're not playing on any big servers, so I'm going to be playing this for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. So it's been, I have something loaded, but it's probably a couple of years. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into a new game. New game. Please select a hero. He's normal. He's high. Well, we're gonna go with normal difficulty. Uh, he excels in both close combat and with traps. Joe was a sickly child and almost died after a bad fall from a tree, but his mother, a famous Indian witch, used her magic spells so effectively to him that he grew up with an iron constitution and extraordinary strength. Enticed by the high pay that offered him, Joe took a job as a lumberjack at the W. Hood Company at a very young age. After the forced exile of his brother Jack, who was wanted by the authorities for his role in the... Uh, what is that? Patriot Rebellions of 1837? Joe bought a little property in the village of Wolves Van, where he lives with his sister... Josephine. So that's what we'll do there. So that's Josephine who's, who was attacked and she's sick. So we're gonna, uh, I guess if I do this profile, will it... You're about to overwrite an existing game with a new one. All the progress and data from the selected profile we probably lost. Yeah, let's go ahead and just overwrite. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this. So, we'll start over. So, day one. So, we have to basically, like, uh, protect ourselves as the werewolves are going to be attacking us. And I haven't gotten much farther than that in the game. So, so for right now, we have wolves. For some time now, many villagers in Wolves Vale have noticed a lot of strange behavior coming from the wolves in the forest, acting more aggressive than usual. There are even rumors that they've been possessed by the devil. Recommended traps. Wolf trap, hanging net, and spike traps. If you deplete your stamina gauge, recovery will take longer than if you rest. Okay. In combat, rolls are very useful to dodge attacks. Alright, so let's continue here. See what we, see will happen. Chapter 1, Exile and Reunion, December 5th, 1858. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine. What good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with the candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy. Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door for the thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Don't worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore, either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones, and let us both stay here with you. <laughs> Oh. Hear that? What is that? It's like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will you? Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for my sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I thought it was Joe. It looks like it's Joss? Joss? Okay. So I remember the beginning missions are mostly tutorial type stuff. Yep. Okay, so head. So it's this way. Head over here, nice and slow. Let's not use any kind of speed. I'll be damned. The horses are dead. And your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. Mm-hmm. Pack must be close It's a big one. A big one. What are we gonna do? 
We're gonna head to the waypoint. Keep going, we're not gonna swing it. Oh. Swing him my axe. Got him. I made six cents. Yeah. Now what? Fine. Right, you can run. Look, speed. All right, but I want to use up all my stamina. More wolves. I need to chop them. Fire. That's not good. It's burning. Village is burning. Mm-hmm. Not good. Oh, uh, what's this? Combat. <laughs> okay. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina is represented by the green bar. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. You accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. Smack him. To evade enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. Good to know. Oh, there they go. I hit both of them. Used the, used the big attack. Ready? Here we go. Get him. Yeah, it's because I'm my stamina. I'm like, what is happening? There we go. Get some stamina back. Got him. All right, let's, uh... Help! Help! Please help me! Uh, how did that guy even get on the prop? That's what I want. Get some guy just some, some weirdo just hanging out. The miller there just hanging out on the property. Are we gonna learn how to use our gun? The rifle. To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon appears when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot, causing maximum damage. Left click to fire. The amount of ammo you have remaining is shown at the bottom left of the screen. I got distracted by my kids, so I didn't quite uh, catch. You can reload your I'm clicking the right click, but that didn't seem to make a difference. So. Aim control, plus that for no to uh, right, so aim for the head. Oh yeah, I don't get a, I'm not gonna have time for that shot. I'm gonna axe him. Just axe him. Got him. Do I still have to reload? Come on, I'm right. Oh, it doesn't matter. The Miller wants to thank us. I think. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful. There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. How many? Dozens, hundreds, maybe. Yeah, I just killed like five. My mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W Hood Company. Uh, secure the mills road to the east. 
We're in, oh, I gotta keep that uh, flame thing too. Nice. Uh, I hear him. Oh, there they are. All right, click, right click, right click, right click. Doesn't do anything. Look, come on, right click. That doesn't seem faster, but maybe it was. All right, we might only get one. Sh uh, are they out of range? Oh, all right. Fear factor. Okay, something new. When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. Okay. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. Oh. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the attack. icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you Ooh. if you're too close. Good to know, that's a good one, okay. So right now, if they're afraid of me, which you will be. See, look at him. Oh, I got me. Big hit. Did I get that other one? Nice. Got him. Right before I got hit. Awesome. That was cool. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, let's reload right now. Get this over with. Okay, there we go. Yep, we're loaded up. Okay. So now we have to get to the waypoint. We're heading this way. We gotta. We're coming! All these wolves everywhere. Is this new combat? Will we get a new combat? Yep, new combat. Now what? Pack management. Okay. When you oh, attack oh multiple no. enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. Yeah. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. Yeah. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Hmm. Okay. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, oh. the intimidating shout. Yeah. Back Press away. the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. Ah! Booga! Don't forget, the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Uh -oh. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw Ooh. symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Oh. Always pay attention to them. Good to know that too. Obviously, that's why they're sh that's why they're sharing it. So we're obviously about to get attacked by a pack. Whoa! Where we go? How we doing? Oh! Switch, quick, switch! Ah, I wasted it. <laughs> Yarrr, ya yellow bellied. Yeah, because wolves hate being called yellow bellied. Like, that's, that's what really upsets him. Uh, was that a headshot? I don't feel like that was really a headshot, but whatever, I'll take it. Oh. My sister. That's my I turn my back for two seconds and some hot water. I better get back to the chapel as quick as I can. My sister And my brother. Head to the waypoint. Uh the rest can go find the stats for your buildings. Oh, okay. 
Drink the Canadian whiskey in your pack by pressing one. It energizes you and allows you to do special attacks. Okay. I, do you hit one? There we go. Protect the house. Oh, I don't have that special. Oh, I don't have a special attack anymore. I'll chop you in two, you mongrels. How are we doing? How are we doing? All right, load up the gun. And boom! Oh crap! These guys are tough. Two of them are going to attack here in a sec. Get ready. Headshot. Got him. Alright, this guy's about to attack. Dang it, I wasted that attack. I'll just run up and get this guy. Got him. We've done it. <laughs> Complete the first tutorial. Right, because I know there's like a trap phase. There's other phases of the game. This was just the melee combat phase. They speak to me. Uh oh. I hear them. But especially I I see. I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. Dun dun dun. What happened? I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful screaming and fell to the ground. Damn it, I asked you to watch her. <laughs> like it's his fault. Nothing I could do. Go get Doctor Lamontang. I don't know what happened, but the bridge to Wolf's Vale was burnt down. We'll have to wait till morning. No. Uh oh, werewolf. When the soul of a human is corrupt by the devil, can escape its body at night while they go werewolf. The soul can then locate a wolf or dog and possess it. Soon after, the animal grows to monstrous size and acquires distorted features, along with greatly increased strength. Retaining part of its human intellect, the werewolf is a cunning and relentless predator that will often lead large packs of wolves. Very resistant to all personal weapons except those that are blessed. Hanging net, spike trap, wayside cross. Some traps can be combined to obtain very powerful effects. Don't be shy about experimenting. So now do we get the tutorial on how to set traps? The trap setting phase of the night? December 6, 1858. My lord, forgive me. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? Oh. You're only a man, LCR. Who? That's the devil. Who's there? Who are you? But you just now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. <laughs> but when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accuse her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed. That was when I knew we were going to do great things together. This <laughs> <laughs> is a dapper that's what looking me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning your lovely and inaccessible servant. <laughs> Okay, here's the strategy mode. In this mode, you're able to place traps in the forest to strategically plan your defense for the coming night. Oh, oh. I see them. The beasts want to carry me back to their master, and they'll attack tonight. I even feel the presence of a werewolf. Okay. Oh, now we're going to get another tutorial. Omens. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. 
If you click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Plan your strategy with the help of these omen cards. All right. Uh, now that I know where the beasts are going to attack from, I'll set wolf traps to help me tonight. So all we have right now is the wolf trap. Click on the wolf trap. And they're just going to make me do it. Time required 20 action points. Instantly kills wolves and grand wolves. Inflicts three points of damage to all other enemies. Will o wisps are immune. <clears throat> Best using narrow paths. So it's saying put it right there. Place another wolf trap in the ground. Close. There we go. Oh, so now you've over the lot. So is that a tutorial movie? Yeah, let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and watch that. The wolf trap. You can walk over your wolf trap without worry. You won't set it off. Good to know. A wolf trap will automatically activate when an enemy walks over it. Or within range of it, anyway. Okay, so is that it? Uh, I'll also try to lure other beasts under hanging nets. So now, all right, we get the hanging net. Click on the hanging net to select it. So we can... We have a hanging net there. Hanging net there. Let's see. I imagine it's just they walk within the thing again. The hanging net. Oh, the yeah. number above the net represents the amount of enemies underneath your trap. All you have to do is aim and shoot the net to bring it down on your enemies. Oh. Takes a little more work, that one. Okay, I finally finished my traps. Now I just need to wait for nightfall. You start every night at your house. Click on the start night button. Okay, so do we not have multiple waves tonight? We totally have multiple waves. Okay, I guess, but that's all we get. Let's go ahead and start the night. So, I should have looked to see how many wolves were coming. Oh well. Here we go. Now, we're gonna make sure the gun is loaded. Okay. Press tab to view your map. Uh, so, can you zoom up? No, I can't zoom in and out. So, so my traps are right there. Here they come. I can see them up on the map. One. Two. Take a breather. Take a breather. He's about to attack, but right now, <clears throat> I can hold off. Ah, I almost missed that. Alright, how, 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 he's close though, he's close. Take a breather, let the stamina come back. Attack! Got him. Alright, so that was phase one. Okay, phase two. Head to the waypoint. Okay, let's go. This one first. We're gonna go dun dun, chopping some trees. Oh, that makes me want to get all the way underneath. Oh, no, what? What? Detection. Enemies can see and hear you. If an enemy gets too close to you, it will see you and attack. The circle around your hero on the minimap represents the sound he makes. When you move, you make more noise. Hmm. Makes sense. An enemy will detect you if its dot on the minimap enters your circle. Certain actions mm. like firing your rifle or shouting create a lot of noise. When an enemy hears you, a marker will appear at your feet. This marker represents the last place an enemy heard you. Oh, so you All enemies that heard you will go to this marker. If the enemy does not see or hear you again, he will leave the area after a short period of time, and the marker disappears. Smart. The dashed circle on your mini-map 
is the range of your shout. Use this ability to lure enemies under your traps. I like that. That's good. That's good. So here they come. So that's obviously what we're supposed to do. So there's two wolves. Alright, so here they come. Oh, I screwed that up. Dang it, I messed that up. Figures I would mess that up. Ouch. I didn't get far enough away, and so they found me. Uh, don't forget to reload your rifle. Yep. Okay. Well, I, I still survived. They just blew it. Uh, blew the trap was all, so... That was really loud. Alright, wait till it gets within range. Get really far away. Oh crap. He's coming he's not he's coming around the other way. It didn't work! Dang it! It didn't I shot it. Uh, but it was red, so I didn't shoot it in the right. I didn't shoot it in the right spot. How am I supposed to... I'm not going to be able to. No. I'm not going to survive. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Quick. Load it, load it, load it, load it. Come on. Dang it. Nope, not gonna work. Dang it. Ah. I'll make stew from what's left of you, Dag Rabbit. See if it says one here. Come on. Oh, I finally did it! <laughs> finally got him. Oh, that was that was rough, guys. Uh, you can do it. That was a rough one. I, I messed that up pretty good, but I did at least. I like that I can shout at a werewolf and scare it, but. Kill all wolves with the wolf traps. Lure all wolves under the net. Lure the rope under the net to kill it. I got that. So we got kills. Protected the cabin. Success. Got some XP. Got a little tiny bit of money. Level two. Whatever that. Okay. Grand wolf. As everyone knows, wolves form strong hierarchical, hierarchical societies which are led by alpha males. Only the biggest and toughest of these males are able to reach the ripe old age of eight when they become grand wolves. Movement two times faster than a wolf in the same traps.
Chapter 3, Resentment and Damnation, December 7th, 1858. Oh, all right, now we're... Action points. Okay, here we go. It costs action points every time you place a trap. The amount of action points a trap costs to place is shown in the trap info, yep. which appears when leaving your cursor over the icon. Some traps also cost money. Oh. Good to know. To remove a trap, click on the trap removal tool, then select the trap. To remove all your traps, click on the remove all tool, then confirm. Traps disappear after one night, except those that cost money, which stay until used. Um, let's go watch this and we'll finish up here for our new... Uh, bonfires. To light a bonfire, press E while close by. If you're standing near a lit bonfire, it will significantly increase your fear factor. If you move sense. too far away, you lose the bonus. This icon shows how much time is left before the bonfire goes out. Gives you a lot more time there. Okay, I think that sh should be it. No. Loggers from the Nature Company have opened up a new path. There are new paths every day. Make sure you take this thing when you're replacing your traps. If you feel like you need a little extra help planning your strategy for the coming night, simply click on the strategy hints option in the pause menu. Uh, move the camera. You can rotate the camera. So we can move it. Uh, that doesn't seem... The rotating doesn't seem to be working, but... I can zoom in. I can zoom out. But I don't... Okay, guys. So, that's... Let's see if we go... No... Uh, no. Okay, guys. So, we're going we're gonna to end it here. So if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, share it with your friends, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit subscribe so you're aware of any and all content coming out on the channel. Leave me a comment below, let me know you what you think of the series. Obviously, this was just this first episode is sort of like a tutorial phase, where we're just getting into uh, how, to, how to do everything. And I'm sure we'll learn tutorials as we unlock each new item, but uh, this was the big one to get started. So if you want to see more of this, let me know. I'd appreciate it, guys. Hopefully you're still liking it. And like always, we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. This is Wolfin' Out. And welcome to something that you probably are all very familiar with at this point because it's been around. But ARK, Survival Evolved. I'm on a... Uh, someone's